What's new at the old library? Plenty, from softball to spirituality, and not necessarily in that order. Bob Pettit and crew are looking to make a difference in young lives, and there is a special vision in place, partnering with Fellowship of Christian Athletes, all looking to help young people begin a relationship with Jesus and disciple it along the way. Now we're uh, in a room where we're putting up some batting cages, some throwing lanes, so people can play uh, softball, baseball, and you know, good place to work out. We're going to have a lot of people, uh, you know, utilize this in a lot of ways for working out. Uh, in the other room over there, we're going to have some also workout equipment, and some movie space. I think you probably took some shots on that. Um, you know, we got some meeting space, we got office space, we got a lot of fun things, but a lot of it's. What we're basically going to do is, once we get this room done, we're going to move into the rest of it and figure out how it's going to work. And, uh, you know, just have to adjust as we go. How important is it to you? And uh, you look around, there's a lot of guys uh, putting in some time here, too, and it's investing in uh, really fun ways for the kids, I guess, too. Yeah, we got a lot of parents here. We got a lot of coaches here. We just got a lot of good people here. Really, um, you know, they get, some, some of them got little kids, some of them got high school kids kids of all ages and some of them are just good community people and you know the only thing a lot of people have said uh, this is a great thing we're doing and I said it's only going to be great if the kids use it so we're all in hopes that they uh, that they take ownership attach themselves to it and, and use it whole you know with a variety of different activities and if it does it's a great deal and if it doesn't work it wasn't such a great deal. Obviously there's a faith element involved too I mean how important is that part to you too that the kids get to Physical and uh, spiritual uh, growth, I guess. Well, that is really the whole ticket because uh, if we were going to, if it was just for the physical part of it, we'd be in a barn someplace or, you know, in a shed. That's where we're coming from. We're really coming to a place where they can do other things, and uh, we are going to have, you know, scriptural uh, references all over the building. We're going to make sure that they fully understand that that's what we believe in, and that's mainly the reason that we're here. Uh, the, the physical part of it is just uh, utilizing the gifts that God's given them. And what's kind of, can you kind of give us a time frame, what your hopes are too? I mean, that's kind of one of the questions that's out there, I guess. Uh, we're working like crazy today to get this thing uh, up so that we actually can get this, this wing moving and utilizing hopefully this weekend. Uh, if we do that and get the other stuff cleared out the other end, then we can start working on those other wings and uh, get some furniture in there and start working on the, you know, in the movie place. And, I mean, I, I've got a basketball team currently going on and just can't wait to have team bonding night, you know, with a movie. So we're anxious to get it all going just as quickly as possible. And there's some opportunity for people to invest themselves, right, too. I mean, you want to encourage people to, to get involved, to, whether it's volunteering or giving, anything like that. There's going to be opportunities, right? We're going to have great opportunities. There's going to be times that we want this thing open so the kids can use it and we we can't man it. We don't have enough people to man it as it is. So we're going to ha have people who don't mind coming up here and spending some time with the kids, uh, being available. Uh, we're going to have, uh, obviously there's some financial needs. Uh, there's no rent to the building, but there will be some utilities and some taxes to deal with. Uh, not an enormous budget, but you know we're just hoping that the community will kind of chip in and this thing will work uh, just as a group effort. Yeah, it's kind of strange. I came in here when it was a library, but I uh, have very high hopes. I think it'll work out really well. Mm -hmm. Tell me how exciting again how it is that the, the community's kind of getting behind it and stuff. And obviously, Mr. Pettit, you know, uh, has really made a, a great investment. Definitely, in yeah. We're feeling the love from the town like a whole lot. It's just, it's really exciting time for all of us. I think it's really exciting. It's nice to know that we have um, another building to go to for both FCA and softball, and I think it's going to help us a lot. Mm -hmm. How do you picture it? You know, I mean, right now it's. Uh, kind of in its uh, infancy stage now, but can you kind of see it taking form and uh, kind of project what the, the building's going to look like? Yeah, I can. Um, the batting cages and pitching lanes are going up now, and uh, I think it's going to be really nice, both the uh, um, FCA and softball mm -hmm. part of it. Tell me what you think it's going to bring to, for the high school life. You know, I mean, you think kids will really take advantage of it. We want this building to be open all the time and stuff, too, and maybe it could be a great place for studying and just hanging out and <laughs> maybe draw people to... to uh, not only could be the building, but maybe a relationship with Christ, yeah. those kind of things. I, I hope a lot of kids take advantage of it. Um, I feel like for FCA, I feel like it'll bring a lot more kids here just because, hey, we have a new building. Let's go check it out. And I mean, hopefully they get involved with FCA. And um, hopefully it'll help our softball program, too. Just uh, be like, oh, I want to go hit at the new batting cage. It's really cool.